back, Team IBB. It's IBB Gary, and I'm here with my very special guest, Kurt Brown, with Fifth and Pratt. Check him out, fifthandpratt.com. We are here with our hashtag IBB Top 3, Part 3 of a three-part trilogy. Oh, man, that was a lot of stuff oh, just now. Was it, was, it was pretty intense. But, uh, Kurt, if you could just take a couple minutes to talk about Fifth and Pratt, Dot com and let Team IBB and the world know what they're missing out on. They're missing out on. Yeah, that's right. So uh, Fifth and Pratt is a blog where we hopefully to make it a brand between uh, my buddies and I. The message or what behind or the message behind Fifth and Pratt, what it means to us, is uh, individuality essentially. So we want to tell our stories and hopefully that help or that inspires you to help you uh, build your own confidence. We, we really just want people to stand on their own two feet and be comfortable with uh, who they are. Oh, no, that that is fantastic. Uh, I've been following and I've been reading a lot of the articles that they're putting out there. Seriously, fantastic stuff. If you have a couple of minutes, check it out. FifthandPratt.com. Let me put a little graphic there. It's going to be sweet. So, <laughs> so without further ado, uh, this is the third part, the final chapter, the third installment of the three-part trilogy. Kurt, take it away. So my last one, the last one of three, my third, is... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Way to take it away. <laughs> my, my three, my third. <laughs> but yes... Uh is uh, don't com or don't use other success as the uh, yardstick or the measurement for your own. Like, don't compare yourself to others. Don't compare yourself to others. All right. No, um, if you don't mind, I'm gonna, I wanna share a personal story. Really yeah, quick. Share, share your story, sir. Thank you, thank yeah. you. So, um, growing up, uh, it was always my mother and just me and my older brother, and growing up, I was the youngest sibling, so, I often found myself uh, always getting in trouble for not doing my chores or, or something something silly. So my mom was always yelling at sure me. It was chores. Yeah, it was chores. Yeah. yeah, chores. So I often remember her yelling at me, uh, and sometimes when she'd get really worked up, it would mm -hmm. be a mix between uh, Tagalog, which is the Filipino language, and okay. English. So it would be like a half English sentence, and then a half... <laughs> it's a colic sentence yeah. and then I'm like so am I supposed to go to my room now but yeah, cause yeah. I, because I'm the worst Filipino in history because I don't understand the language and I never really picked it up that's neither here nor there is, no it should yeah, be but it's, bad. it's bad it's bad but um, so going back to don't compare yourself to others uh, <laughs> my my mother would would yell at, at me for not doing what I was told and I would always say this infamous line of, you know, hey, how come John doesn't have to do it? That's my older brother, John. Be like, how come he doesn't have to do it? And she's like, I don't care. I didn't tell him to do it. I told you to do it. Right. So uh, that was a hard lesson that I had to learn over time, mm -hmm. over and over and over again. Right. I'm 32 now, so I think it's sticking, starting to stick. So, uh, no, I'm just kidding. But, yeah, I... I think it's really difficult um, to not compare yourself to others, wouldn't Absolutely. you say? Absolutely, yeah. You're always, uh, I mean, you have your idols, you have those that you look up to, and mm. just because you do look up to them, I feel like subconsciously you're like, well, like, they did it this way, so I need to do it like that way as well, or this is the blueprint that I have to follow, and that's not always the case. Everyone's going to have their own journey. Like, I well... What I tried to do, I tried to be smart about this. I tried to tie in all three of my keys. Well, two. Yeah, all three. Two. The previous two into my third. <laughs> yes. Yes. Good. For not comparing yourself. I think super, the, super smoothly too, right? Yeah, exactly. It was really, I'm, I, I'm killing this right now. <laughs> awesome. But as far as like falling in love with the journey. Okay. Like so, don't compare your journey to others. Like you have to realize that this is your own road. It may be bumpy. You might not. It might not be the prettiest, and someone else might have gotten there faster than you, or might have been a straight shot. They might not have fallen as many times as you have, or you might. You might just. You probably just haven't seen how many times they fell. You might not see how hard they've been working, like behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. So you should like stay the course, know where you want to go, and do your best to get there. As far as, like, don't play small, like, you should, like, go in there, you should do the best you can. You should, like, be 
play big, I guess. I just go full steam, know where you want to go, and just go as hard as you can. Yeah, so I just want to back it up a little bit. So yeah. falling in love with the journey, that was the first video. Right. Fantastic stuff. And now we're talking about you know not comparing yourself to others and, and the guidelines and the blueprints. Right. Um, and, and then also with not playing small, it, it, your decisions are going to get easier right. if you always have your eye on the prize. Exactly. So as long you as always, you're yeah, congruent. No, I'm sorry. As no. long as you're congruent in your actions and your lifestyle, it's like you, is that a good yeah, word? Awesome. <laughs> awesome. I love it. Like, uh, Gary and I have been talking a lot lately about well, branding as far as well, IPV. Perfect example. He... Like he has a vision in mind. He has a goal in mind. I'm sure he can't associate well, what IBB. Could you narrow it down to one word? No. Couldn't put it down to one word. If you had to, if you, what does IBB mean to you? Well, purpose. Purpose. If I, I guess I can't put it in one word. So okay. Yeah. <laughs> so purpose. So how do you, would you say that your life is pretty congruent as far as when it comes to purpose, having a purpose? Absolutely. Okay. How so? What do you do? Every single decision that I make stems from that purpose. Mm -hmm. So from the time that I wake up for the time that I go to bed, right. every de decisions are easier because if they are in line with my purpose, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it. Right. If they aren't, I'm not gonna do it. Very, it's, it's black and white and it can be simple, but it, it's, that's what it is. It's truth. It's you know, if if it meets in line with the vision, then it's going to happen. And if not, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. it, it, we always tend to overcomplicate things, so we don't we don't have to. Right. Absolutely. So, yeah. Yeah. See, yeah. you're living in line with your brand. As long as you're congruent in all your decisions and your choices and your life choices, how you, I guess, present yourself to others or how you represent yourself, like is. Is, always be representing right absolutely yeah. as much as we want to believe that we do things it's like oh forget what they think about me like I'm gonna do whatever I want it's like regardless of that brand or that image that you have for yourself like it it should be represented or your value will be determined based upon like what others place on you more or less right yeah no that that's awesome man like so that like your brand you have the you have the image in your mind. You have the idea in your head, and you should live it. Like you should represent it, and then what others pick. You should have others pick up on it, and essentially they will build your brand, or you build your brand. But they, what am I looking for? They're gonna feel it. Exactly. They're gonna feel it. Like your. Now we're getting on into the brand stuff, but your brand has to be part of you. Absolutely. It has to be your heart, your soul everything that you give to it because if it's not then it's just another logo on the wall but yeah. that logo has to stem from something something that uh you know helped ingrained the things into your life that you know for instance you're talking about your tattoo so mm -hmm. always letting your light shine through uh that is ingrained into everything it's part of your dna absolutely and that's what your brand needs to be mm -hmm. so yeah. Uh, one thing I also wanted to bring it back to comparing it to others, you talked about falling down a couple of times. So yeah. one thing I, I want to keep into consideration is, you know, we always see the end result from those idols and those people that we look up to, but we don't yeah. often spend the time looking at all the times that they've fallen Absolutely. and all the, all the hard times that they've gone through. And it's often like, when you compare yourself to others, you're always like, well, they were able to do that because, yeah, you, you know. make up some sort of situation to make yourself Yeah, feel you better. just make it's up like, some story in your absolutely. mind. Absolutely. Yeah. It's like, and by doing that, it's like you're not, you're jading yourself and you're making, like you're projecting something on this person. Like that's not fair to them either. Like you don't know what type of like blood, sweat, and tears they put into this. Like they right. could have deserved that more than you did. Right. Like um, two people, like let's say me and you were going for a manager position. I totally went that. Right? So, <laughs> so like, if we were going for the same position, yeah. right, and we were both equal candidates and whatever, you know, whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. but um, you get the job. Yeah. Because you're taller. Uh, <laughs> so, 
you get the job and then I don't. Mm -hmm. And then how, it's, it's very hard for me to not compare myself to you. Yeah. Like, I will sit there and write in my diary about how, you know, Kurt, why did he get this job over me? Was it because of this? Was it because of that? And then your mind just starts to go kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. But like, why aren't we kind of taking a second to think about, you know, why, why I'm even in that position to begin with? Why haven't I made myself the only candidate? Why have I not made myself the only consideration? Right. So I think we could learn about ourselves a little bit more when we try not to compare ourselves to others. It's very difficult, right. but you know, it's, it's, an it's an opportunity for us to <laughs> master ourselves. That's from a different video. You'll see, you'll Is see, it? you'll see. Yeah, okay. It's very good, a Ryan Weber thing. He's, he's the man. Is he? Yeah, we'll go, I'll tell you a little I'll, bit about I'll it. I'll just check him out. Yeah, he's awesome. So, um, Sounds like a good guy. anything else to add, Mr. Brown? No, I think that's just about it. I think I talked about everything that I wanted to. Like that is... falling in love with the journey, staying true well to yourself, don't play small, and fall in love with the journey. Just be congruent. Know where you want to go and have all your actions and your lifestyle aligned with that. Just go with blinders. Yeah, tunnel vision, right? Absolutely. Yeah, no, that that's great. Yeah, yeah. see, you have like 17 keys. That's awesome. <laughs> so thank you so much. For taking the time out of your busy schedule. I know you got a lot going on between Fifth and Pratt and everything you're doing at Sherwin. So thank you so much. Everybody, check them out. FifthandPratt.com. Great articles, great stuff. Capsule wardrobes, awesome stuff. Just fantastic message. Uh, everything that IBB stands for is a lot what Fifth and Pratt stands for too. So uh, thank you so much. This is... Part three, the final chapter of Kurt Brown's hashtag IBB top three. Thank you guys so much. Until next time, stay bird proof.